So let's start to watch all intros of my Formula One documentaries. I am Dani Lozano. Plus, let's start with the first documentary I made ever. Battle first year in red, but let's do it in a proper way. Now we can start. Battle first year in red. Let's watch the intro. So let's use uh, my website which is the place where you can watch all my videos. The Formula One documentary I made about the season of Sebastian Vettel in Ferrari 2015. Let's watch the intro. 10, 11 years old, stopped in Maranello to, to have a look, if we can see the car. That means my first day in Ferrari it was the first helmet Sebastian Vettel used to to drive a Ferrari car that was the Ferrari of the 2012 season tested in Fiorano at the end of November 2014 because he started as official Ferrari driver in 2015. That was a test that I used to create the intro of this documentary as the first experience of Sebastian Vettel in Ferrari. Conversations is having obviously better with his engineer for the first time. It's very very cool. Vettel is speaking to his race engineer in every corner saying turn one, turn two, turn three because it's the way and drivers check that the radio system works in every part of the circuit. This is something that everyone does. Now we're clear, we are over the bridge now. Turn five. Okay, I remind you, we stop under the bridge and we do that by And now it starts a hot lab, Sebastian Vettel, in the Fiorano track after checking the radio communication works. Also on the engine sound, which is a V8 engine, much better than the actual V6 turbo engines. And I have to say something about this. The engine sound is fake. The sound of the car I picked from a number hot lap of Fernando Alonso when he was driving this car. But I did that because the original video of Sebastian Vettel driving have uh, music at the background. When I start to create this documentary, if I maintain this where music with the onboard uh, sound, it could ruin a bit the experience of Vettel driving for the first time a Ferrari. The engine sound that it's much more immersive. It's fake, but I think I did a good job. I sync very well, downshift, the upshifts. Probably you realize there's some little weird audio syncs in some corners where Tom C for Sebastian and Af shifts starts to sound a bit earlier or, or later than Sebastian change year. Some people realize in the comment section of the commentary on YouTube, I remember, a long time ago. I have to say that, you know, people are really hungry and willing to, to come back to the top.
That was the first intro of my first documentary, which is not an intro in itself because there's not music. This is history, guys. My first documentary, Battle First Year in Red. I had no idea if it could work before to upload to YouTube for the first time. This was the, this, the ground zero. By the way, if you would like to get this t shirt, in the comment section of this video, in the description, you have the link to my store where you can get this t shirt and much more that I designed for you. Next documentary, Ta I'm sure you know this one, the most popular, the most famous documentary of all I made, The Silver War, the battle between Roosevelt and Hamilton. Let's watch the intro of the first one of the two I made until the moment, which is the 2016 version. Let's use the website to watch it. And um, this documentary is this one. It's only possible to watch here on my website, dannyfloss.com. Also in the description of this video, in the comments below, I will place the link. Let's start. That was the second documentary uh, I made ever after, one year after, Battle First Year in Red. And this is the intro I create for this one. I'm very excited about the season ahead. When you are. Yeah, I use the music, epic music, the voices of Roswell and Hamilton in the background. This intro is the first proper intro I made. When you are the number one team, you become more of a target. These are images that I found in the Mercedes channel. It was perfect to, to start to build the story, the legendary rivalry of the Mercedes drivers. Seeing images of how engineers build the car, build the silver arrow. That that also give, gives the title to the documentary, Silver War. That was inspired in the fact that the, the Mercedes car was painted on silver, and also the Mercedes cars are known as the Silver Arrows. The expectations are very high. We're not arriving thinking we're world champions and we're trying to defend it. We want to win it. Form one doesn't stop. And it starts the most epic momentum of the music that probably grace one of the best intro of my documentaries. I love this, this moment when the music sounds like boom, and you can see Rosman and Hamilton walking in front like, this is the war, guys, this is the silver war, let's, let's face on for the world title. And when I was editing the documentary and I create this part, I said, wow, this is very, very professional. I can create something really, really great. Because when I was um, creating this intro for the documentary, it was the starting point. At that time, I say, I had to maintain the level of this quality in, during the, the whole documentary. And I think I did. And this is the end of the footage of the documentary uh, showing the Rosberg car. I have a very interesting story about this last scene of the intro that I revealed in the documentary that I made last year celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Silver War. You have the link to this mini documentary here. Where... Boom! The Silver War and the logotype. This is one of my favorites. And as I said before, this is the official merchandising with the official logo of the Silver War that you can get on my store. Link available to my store in the description of this video. Oh, this is epic, guys. Let's move on to the next one, which that was Silver vs. Red F1 2017, Class of Champions. Silver vs. Red Class of Champions. Let's go to watch the intro. In my website, it's possible to watch also in YouTube, but the version that is on my website of Silver vs. Red is the remaster. The footage is the same, but the quality is a bit better. That was the third documentary I made ever after Battle First Year in Red and The Silver War of 1 2016. I didn't race Lewis in go-karts because he's just one or two years older and then, yeah, he was always that step ahead. So, uh, but I remember in 1999 he finished third uh, for the European Championships, Junior Championships um, in go-karts. And uh, there was a guy telling me that... 
Uh, these photos are from Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton in, in feeder categories when they were racing in Formula 1, in Formula 3, in Formula 2, in previous categories together. As you can see in the last photo here. He will be in Formula 1. And the voice of Sebastian Vettel, it's from an interview in 2015 where they told together about how were the times where they combined in, in previous categories. So. That's why I decided to pick this moment to represent the rivalry between Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. You are the world champion! I believe! I'm mixing the Formula One world titles Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton achieved until 2017. Starting with the first one Sebastian Vettel achieved in 2010. He won the championships four in a row in 2010. 2011, 2012, and 2013, all of them with Red Bull. And at that time, Lewis Hamilton won in 2008 with McLaren, 2014, and 2015 with Mercedes. That's what you're going to watch now. Hello, dude. So this is for you, to my family. Thank you for all supporting me and believing in me. 2011 world champion. Thank you so much. World champion. Oh, my God. Triple world champion. Yeah. Three times world champion. It's the greatest moment of my life. Four time world champion. You did it! And all the team radio messages are from the moment they achieved that championship. And this moment is very important because when I create this documentary, I also create a connection for Sebastian and Lewis Hamilton with one of their idols in Formula One. The idol of Lewis Hamilton is the Brazilian driver that passed away in 94, Ayrton Senna. And that's why I create this flashback. This is one of the Ayrton Senna's car in McLaren. And I'm connecting it with the Lewis Hamilton helmet, which is also yellow. And Sebastian Vettel. This is the Sebastian Vettel eyes through the visor. The connection with the idol of Sebastian uh, was with Michael Schumacher. This is Michael Schumacher. And this is the connection I decided to create for Sebastian. This is a way to increase the experience of this documentary, like saying Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton are champions, but also at the same time, their idols are great champions. Sebastian Vettel, Simon idol, is Michael Schumacher, seven times Formula One world champion, the idol of Lewis Hamilton, Ayrton Senna, three times Formula One world champion, as Lewis Hamilton was at that time in 2017. It's like a battle for the legacy. Who's gonna win? One of the idols of Michael Schumacher of, or one of the idols of Ayrton Senna. Two great champions in the past. And now, in the present, at that moment, Vettel and Hamilton, another two great champions fighting on track. I finished second, did you? Mm. And these photos are from races. Both drivers achieved every single of their titles. As you can see, this, I picked the Sebastian Vettel photos. Um, doing the gesture of the number of titles he achieved at that moment. One, two, three, and four. The guy who won, the guy who won was an Austrian. Yeah, he was. At the time. was. And the next three photos from the uh, moments Lewis Hamilton achieved the, the titles. 2014, 2015, and the first one, here is the first one at the left side, the first title of Lewis Hamilton in 2008. Did you? Mm. The, the, guy who won, the guy who won was an Austrian. Yeah, he was. At the time. He was. And Oh, this moment is super cool, the eye. These images are from the testing days in 2017. Something similar what I make in the future with the sequel of this documentary, Silver vs. Red, Five for Nothing. And the music is very nice as well. A lot of people love it, the music. Something more classical, not so epic as the Silver War, but fits extremely well for me. Time that we that's really the first got, time I, got to know I, I met uh, and it was 
really aware of, of Sebastian. As you can listen in, in the interview that I picked, the audio are Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel talking about the first time they meet each other as a racing drivers. Class of Champions. Also, you can get this t-shirt in the store. Link in the description of the video and in the comments below. Let's move on to the next documentary that I made after this one that was... The Youngest. Max Verstappen. Well, this is the fourth documentary I made that is not so known. It's very well known between Max Verstappen fans because it's focusing on Max Verstappen. The documentary here is The Youngest about the 2015 season. It was nice to represent the first season of Max Verstappen in Formula 1 as I did with Sebastian Vettel in Ferrari in 2015. A very talented guy that broke young records, the youngest driver in Formula 1 to start a Formula 1 race at 17, was the youngest driver ever in Formula 1 to score a World Championship point in Formula 1, was the youngest Formula 1 driver into up into the podium in a Formula 1 race, and also I think it was the youngest driver ever in to win a Formula One race in 2016. Let's watch the intro of this documentary, which is super, super cool. But the intro of this documentary uh, starts not at the beginning of the video. At the beginning of the video, what I made was to pick the first time Max Verstappen up into in a Formula One car. That was the previous year he started to compete in Formula One in 2014 at, in Suzuka, when he was announced as official driver for the next season for the Scuderia Toro Rosso. This is the moment he's driving his car through Suzuka, through the free practice one session of the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix, but it was not competing race. It was up into the car only free, in free practice as a way to test their abilities. Had to start to prepare as a Formula One driver for next season in 2000. The interest starts a bit later. Well, next year I want to be, of course, you want to be fast, but just try to be very consistent, don't make too many mistakes. This is an interview that was making Max Verstappen immediately was announced as official driver for the next season in 2015 that I picked to start this documentary, to give context to the spectators. Well, in the future, of course, I hope to, be, to become a world champion. <laughs> That's epic, to become a world champion, and he did it. And here is where it starts the intro. It is very short, but it's super cool. Look at that. Very short intro, and I used epic rock music. When I listened to this song, I said, uh, I think the rock music works for to represent Max Verstappen as a driver, as a rock and roll driver, you know? A very, very fast driver, very, very hard driver in, in head-to-head battles on track. Uh, you know, the guy who is making a revolution in Formula One came so young that I think a, a rock style music, it's perfect to, to a documentary like this one. And it's a very short intro, but one of my favorites as well. The next documentary, the prequel of the first one that I made, Origins of the Silver War. My most popular documentary ever, almost 7 million views on YouTube at that time. The intro of this documentary probably is not the most epic one, it's not the best, uh, but this documentary is a bit special because the first time I made it, I divided in 10 episodes, 15-20 minutes every episode, in 2018. But at that time, at the end of that year, I decided to retire from YouTube and to stop making Formula 1 videos. But one year later, I decided to come back to make videos in 2019. And next year, in 2020, in summer, I decided to compile the 10 episodes of Origins of the Silver War 
in one single video as a whole documentary and upload to my main YouTube channel, Floss by Dani Lozano, in 2020. But the reality is that I made it in 2018. But it was published official as a whole documentary in 2020. The intro of this documentary is the same that I was uploading for every single episode I was making before. That's why it's a very simple intro, because I had to create the same intro for the 10 episodes. And I didn't want to make a very long intro in case the, the spectators were watching 10 videos about the same uh, thing, the same documentary, and they had to watch a very long intro 10 times. I'm using the same song that I used in the intro of the Silver War 2016, but a different part. Remember, this is the prequel of the Silver War of 1 2016 that happened two years before the Silver War of 1 2016, in 2014. These are the images from the Bahrain testing in 2014. Proceeding to the Silver War, mentioned that it's a prequel of the Silver War. And this is the final image of the intro that it's on the Bahrain Grand Prix in 2014. That I decided to pick this one because it looks that like they are fighting, but it's not the reality. They are congratulating each other because Bahrain Grand Prix that was one of the most epic and intense battles between the Mercedes drivers Rosberg and Hamilton where they passing each other out of time during all the race and at the end of the race they like a little joke like forcing each other like wow we, we enjoyed a lot so much fighting each other and the logotype simple intro but I think it, it fits well for the documentary remember you can get the official merchandising of my documentaries in the floors store you have the link in the description video in the comments below. To get probably the most iconic t-shirt or merchandise in the Silver War is the most iconic video. 7 million views on YouTube uh, actually. Uh, this t-shirt is super important for me as well. Silver War is, is more than a documentary, it's more than a, than a video itself. It's, it's legacy guys. You, you made it possible thanks to the massive amount of views, of views it has, this, this video and this story. Vettel Second Year in Red is a very special video. It's the sequel of Vettel First Year in Red. It's about the next season uh, of Sebastian Vettel in Ferrari in 2016, but this documentary was made in 2021. I decided to make that uh, five years later because people ask for that. People really want to, to see the, the continuation, the sequel of, of Vettel First Year in Red. That was my first documentary ever, and I decided to make that in 2021. Let's watch the intro that it's very connected with the prequel of this documentary with with Vettel first year in red. Let's let's watch it. By the way, uh, here is my Instagram in case you would like to watch more content about my videos. You have the links also in the description of this video to all my social media. It's always fun to watch the process very close over winter with the team. This is the preparation for Sebastian Vettel in 2016, a second year as a Ferrari driver. And I like what I made this kind of stripes in black with the, the Cavalino Rampante, which is the symbol of Ferrari. And then especially the last couple of days when things are starting to come together. This image is from testing 2016. The music starts to sound like if it's been sounding in a headphone. And this is an effect that I create for this documentary. And when the car starts to, to go to the track, the music starts to sound normally. Last year was very good for us, very positive. <laughs> These are flashbacks from the previous season, Battle First Year in Red in 2015, the moments where he won. And it's a way to connect the previous documentary of Vettel with this one. Grazie, grazie, dai, forza Ferrari! This is in Malaysia 2015, that was the race where Sebastian Vettel won for the first time as a Ferrari driver. The success early on that we had helped to stabilize the team. Grazie, ragazzi, grazie. Second victory in Hungary 2015. Hey, merci, Jules, always be in our hearts. We know that. Everybody is uh, fired up that we want to win. The target is clear. Yes, you did it! You did it! Woohoo! 
grazie ragazzi. And the third victory of 2015 in Singapore. Ragazzi, grazie. And once again, I decide to give an effect, sound effect to the music, create a filter that makes to sound the music as if you are listening in headphones. Because I found this footage of Sebastian Vettel with headphones listening music, and it's a way to try to create the idea that, that Sebastian Vettel is listening to that song. Now it's up to us and to see what we can do with that. And this song is very special if you are a really, really fan of this saga of Vettel and Red. Because this song, it's a song that sounds in the prequel, in the ending of the documentary. And I decided to start the sequel with the song that ends the prequel as a way to connect bo both documentaries. This is the ending of the prequel of Vettel first year in Red. Strong, but wood could shoot. For now, uh, there's a lot of work ahead and uh, we focus on that on every single day. I decided to include it in the sequel, in the intro, because a lot of people love this song and tell me in the comments. And it's funny, because if you go to YouTube and you find the, the song in YouTube, this is the official song that I use for the document for both documentaries, and <laughs> check the section comments of this song. I get the feeling this goes with a certain German former F1 driver, Sebastian Vettel. Hey, so much F1 fans here. I'm self fan. Sebastian Vettel fans found the song the official song on YouTube, and they decide to comment that they came from my documentary. Any F1 fans here? This song reminds me um, Luis and Sebastian, but I don't know why. <laughs> this song reminds me of Sebastian Vettel, F1 driver, for some reasons. Obviously, all these persons watched Vettel first year in red, and they... That's one of the reasons, because when I created the, the sequel, second year in red, I decided to use, once again, this song like a tribute to the first documentary and also a little gift to the fans of the of Battle First Gen Red and a way to say, hey, you are watching the sequel. You are watching the second part of the, of the same story. And I remember this is for you, for Battle First Gen Red fans, uh, the t-shirt, the official merchandising you can get in my store. You have the link in the, in the description of this video and in the comments below. The white version of this t-shirt is absolutely beautiful. And it's it's for better first year in Red Fun. The next documentary is also a sequel, but this time the sequel of Silver vs. Red Class of Champions, Silver vs. Red F1 2018, 5 or nothing. Let's watch the intro. And this is the intro, which is half similarities with the previous version 2017. By the way, Patreon is a platform where people can support their favorite creators through donations. You can join in this tier that I named Floss Premium. Also, if you do it, you will get uh, some exclusive rewards as early access information about the future videos I will make, um, documentaries. A Hall of Fame Your Name will appear at the end of my videos in my main channel, uh, Floss. And sometimes some exclusive videos, uh, some extras with more information about my documentaries, some insights as I'm telling you in this video. Here I'm explaining a lot of things that I don't explain anywhere else to, to the Patreon. So if you would like to support my work as a content creator, uh, you will help me a lot, guys, to keep dedicating time to create these videos. It's really helpful your support here on Patreon. Uh, it's super important. I will place the link to my Patreon here in this card and also in the comment section and in the description you, you can find the link to, to my Patreon. Uh, your support helped me a lot to, to keep continue with these guys. So let's just start to watch the intro. Silver vs. Red 2018, pay for now. This is the logo of the previous documentary, Class of Champion. It's a way to say, hey, this is a sequel. We have the same mentality as we approach every season. With the, the ultimate um, approach is to win. Win, to win. That stops it usually. <laughs> and I found these phrases of Luis and Sebastian. I don't remember when they said that, but they, they are talking about the same to win. The, the target is to win. The second round of the battle between Sebastian Vettel and Luis Hamilton. Hamilton in Mercedes, F, um, Vettel and Ferrari next year. Hamilton won previous um, 
year in 2017, next round 2018. That's the context to place the story in a proper way. Oh, and Hamilton gets forced off the track. Who's going to come out in front? These are photos and highlights of the most intense battles they had Vettel and Hamilton previous season in the previous documentary in Class of Champions. These images are really cool. Are the cars showing by the shadows of the lights? I found these videos uh, in the Mercedes and Ferrari channel when they were presenting their cars and the result is beautiful. This intro is spectacular, guys. He brake tested me. What the f going on? Vettel literally just came alongside me and turned in and hit me. That was in Baku in, in the previous year when Vettel collided with Hamilton in Baku in the restart in the safety car. Probably you, you know what I'm talking about. We got close last year, but uh, as we look at these images of Sebastian with the shadows and the lights that I found, and I said, wow, this is spectacular to present both drivers. They're not close enough. Oh, give me right now, this oh. side, and he's cracked. The crash in Singapore that start to cause to Sebastian the chances to fight for the previous title. For me, it's where Sebastian Vettel lost the title. Sorry, guys. P0. Sorry. I believe that we have the capability of being the best every single year. This is amazing because it, I think he's not saying this phrase. Um, I synchronize the movement of the mouth of Lewis Hamilton with the phrase he was, he was saying, but it's not correlated. He's, he's not saying that. I found this clip from a promotion Lewis Hamilton was doing with a with a brand. I don't know actually what it was. I believe that we have the capability of being the best every single year. It looks that they say that, but I promise, I promise. The, the audio I, I picked to place in this Lewis Hamilton footage is not the same. The fastest. To reimagine what's possible. And if it doesn't exist... He crosses the line now to become the four-time world champion! Hamilton won the previous year in 2017, world champion, another highlight. The past couple years is just remarkable. Just so grateful for your hard work. You and here, once again, I repeat the thing that I did in the previous Silver vs. Red documentary to mix footage of Sebastian and Lewis Hamilton in pre season testing, testing their cars, but this time the next season. <laughs> Our target is to win the championship. Solely focus on making sure that I do the best job I can. This intro for me is the best one in terms of visuals. Also, you can get merch of Silver vs Red F1 2018 5 or nothing. Remember, 5 or nothing, the title, uh, because uh, at that time Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton were fighting for the fifth, his fifth Formula One World Championship. At that time, in 2018, both drivers, Hamilton and Vettel, had four championship each one. They were fighting for the fifth title. That's why I decided to name this documentary as Five or Nothing. One of the drivers, Sebastian or Hamilton, will be five times world champion at the end of the season, and the other one, no. So, Five or Nothing. The official t-shirt is available in my store, um, one of my favorite documentaries. I know it's one of your favorite documentaries as well. Link to my store to get this t-shirt in the description of this video and in the comments below. Move on to the last documentary. Very, very special. The eighth and one. The eighth and one, the last F1 documentary I made until the moment about the 2021 season, the battle between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Uh, well, guys, this documentary, as happens with the Silver World of 1 2016, is only possible to watch here on my website, dannyfloss.com. You have the link in the description and in the comments below. This one, the eighth and one. This documentary is very popular. It was on YouTube in a very short period of time because unfortunately it was broke. I was online only on YouTube uh, three months, from February 2022 to April, at the end of April 2022. Let's analyze the intro of the last documentary, which is probably one of my top three favorites. Just start in a new land 
The lyrics of the song are connected with uh, it's happening on the intro. Actually, one year ago, I made an analysis of this intro that you can watch here in this card. Create a new plan. We are starting. The youngest driver ever to win a Formula One World Championship Grand Prix. This is the first victory of Max Verstappen in Formula One in 2016. Yes, yes. You are a race winner. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Christian. Look at this effect with the eye. And now, Lewis Hamilton. On the eyes of Max Verstappen, they are connecting each other. The special effects that I made for this intro are really, really cool. The world championship record is equals. Lewis Hamilton is a seven-time champion of the world. And I connected with the best highlight of Lewis Hamilton until today in Formula One, the seventh title in Formula One, equaling the record of seven titles in Formula One with Schumacher. <laughs> I was not able to pick a moment of Max Verstappen being world champion because at that time Max Verstappen was not Formula One world champion. He was fighting for his first title that won here in this documentary. Another effect, look at that. I always connecting Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen on the inside of Hamilton. It's the lead of the race. These are highlights of sometimes they fought on track previous to 2021. And look at that. I won't stop the intro in this point. Just listen the music with the footage is super cool. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton dueling. They make contact and almost runs over the front wing of Lewis Hamilton. Who's got a puncher? Verstappen's got a puncture. Verstappen's got a puncture. That happened in Bahrain 2018, uh, where they collide as well between each other. I decided to pick some moments of the rivalry between Max and Luis to present the, the final rivalry that was to fight for a Formula One World Championship in the whole season between Max and Luis. Something that never happened after this season in 2021. Look at this. I transformed the Max Verstappen shadow in the Luis Hamilton face, like saying, they are super different in many things, but at the end, they are the same. They are they want to be world champion. They have the, the fire inside of them to fight for a world championship. Wow, oh, I love it. That's Max Verstappen, wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen and Hamilton, wheel to wheel. And Hamilton just has to back out. The eighth and one. Well, the, the intro is spectacular. It's one of my favorites, along to Silver vs. Red, 2018 and the Silver War. Obviously, we have merch of this spectacular documentary, The Eighth and One. The meaning of the name, it's super extensive. You can interpret the name of this title in many ways. That's why it's very special. You can get all this merchandising I was announcing in this video, uh, clicking in this card. And also uh, here you can get access. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. And I see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye bye.